Good morning, YouTube. Here we go. What comes first, the chicken or the egg? Well, I'm not. I don't really know what came first with the chicken or the egg, but I know what came first with the WPS versus the PQR, and that's the PQR. The PQR is a process qualification record. Now, when I say record, I mean the things that people like Guinness World Records. They put a record in their book, and when they put a record in their book, they put a single value in their book. They don't put a range on their book. So when I come across reviewing a PQR and I see that it just has a range on it and it's like, oh well. Then I get to the WPS and it's like, sorry, I gotta reject this. I don't know if your range is, I mean, if I'm in, to the D1 codes, I don't know if I'm plus or minus 7% on the voltage or 10% on the amperage or the wire feed speed or this or that. It's like, I don't know, can't help you, sorry, you screwed up. Another way to look at this is the first person that made a cake or a pie they tell you what they did. I put so and so many cups of sugar in there, flour in there, eggs in there, all this stuff. This is what I did. So that's what the PQR was. Exactly what I did to make that weld and have it test out and pass. So then you come to the WPS or the experiment cookers if you will. The WPS is alright so I did this you can safely vary this much and still have a good product. Like when you get to the, again, to baking or some cooking thing. Nobody really follows the recipe to a T. And there's some people out there, but you're going to vary a little bit and it's still going to turn out acceptable. Why? Because that's what the WPS is there for. The WPS is a recipe that allows you to know within these limits, if your welder is capable and tested and certified welder that they're going to make a good weld. So when you get, you go to the welder, hand them the WPS, you know that it was qualified with a PQR with a bunch of single values on it and that he can follow this to within these limits and still produce a capable sound weld. There you have it, chicken or the egg, well in this case PQR. So as always, I plan on doing some sort of little weekly video. Sometimes it's going to be a uh, just a little talk like this about a welding topic, or sometimes it's going to actually be a little demonstration. Uh, it might have, but I, I plan on keeping them short. But the demonstrations will be shorter, and I can elaborate on them if you want. You can just comment on it. Uh, but. If you, if you want to keep getting stuff like this, hit the subscribe button, like the videos. Please leave comments and let me know if there's topics that you want me to talk about and I'll do it. Alright, thank you.